On our local news, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., designated Vice President Sarah Duterte officer in charge as he goes on his state visits to Indonesia and Singapore from September 6 to 7. Dot 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 in Special Order No. 75, Marcos Jr. ordered the designation of Duterte as officer in charge to take care of the day-to-day -day operations in the office of the president and oversee the general administration of the executive department. Apart from this, VP Duterte as the OIC will also be tasked to act for and on behalf of the president, if necessary, except on matters that the president is required by the Constitution to act in person, during the time that the president is outside the Republic of the Philippines from 0407 September, with this, all acts of Duterte for and on behalf of Marcos Jr. under this order shall be deemed acts of the president, unless it is disapproved and reprobated by Marcos Jr. himself, all government departments, agencies, and instrumentalities are then ordered to assist the vice president. This came after Marcos Jr. left for his first foreign trip as president to meet with Indonesian President Joko Widodo on September 4th to 6, and then with Singaporean President Halima Yaqob and Prime Minister Lee Shion Lung on September 6 to 7. The Philippines will sign agreements to further boost TIs with Indonesia and Singapore during President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr.'s inaugural state visits to the two ASEAN neighbors starting Sunday. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, please, uh, please take your seat. I'd like to greet, of course, uh, Vice President uh, Sara Duterte, uh, House Speaker Martin uh, Romualdez, uh, members of uh, the cabinet, cabinet uh, representative Antonio Calix, is he here? Oh, there, hindi kita nakita, I'm sorry. Uh, the AFP Chief of Staff, uh, Lieutenant Bartolome Vicente Bacaro, and the other major service commanders, Pasay City Mayor Imelda Calixto Rubiano, uh, of course, uh, our First Lady, Luis uh, Araneta Marcos. Our newly minted, uh, our newly minted Congressman from the First District of Ilocos Norte, Sandro Marcos. Other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I embark upon what I anticipate to be the first of a series of uh, trips that I will be undertaking. Uh, to our friends, our partners, our allies around the world. And this is to once again uh, put the Philippines in a position where we have strong alliances and strong partnerships which are necessary for us to come out of the post-pandemic economy. So I leave to undertake my first state visit to our immediate neighbors, Indonesia, and Singapore. In other words, ako ay mga ngapit bahay para sa ating bansa at para sa ating ekonomiya. I I go now. I go from here to from Manila to Jakarta upon the invitation of President Joko Widodo for a state visit from the fourth to the sixth of September. Indonesia has been our ally and one of our closest bilateral partners for the past seven decades. And uh, beyond that, the cultural ties and the geographical affinities that we enjoy have always been part of our relationship with Indonesia. We will reaffirm our ties with fellow archipelagic nations and ASEAN co-founder Indonesia, which we share, for, with whom we share an extensive maritime border in the south of the Philippines. During my visit, the President Widodo and I will be meeting for the first time and will be discussing the current state and the future as we see it of the bilateral relationship between the Philippines and Indonesia and the changing global geopolitical environment. We will also witness the signing of several agreements between our two countries, covering important areas of cooperation. These are agreements on defense and security, on the creative economy the culture uh, and culture. And our foreign ministers 
Look forward to signing the Philippines-Indonesia Plan of Action for the next five years, which commits our two countries to projects and activities covering the full range of our bilateral ties. Beyond that, we will also be seeking the partnership and the help of our friends in Indonesia from the President and the, uh, for our friends in Indonesia for investment in the areas where we see uh, that they can be of assistance, especially in the critical areas as we have identified them in agriculture and in energy. Likewise, upon the invitation of President Halima Yaakob, I shall undertake a state visit to Singapore from the 6th to the 7th of September. Singapore is home to 200,000 Filipinos and as ever they make us proud for their contribution to the economies of Singapore and the Philippines. I shall meet both President Halima Yaakob and Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong to renew our commitment to deepen bilateral relations, explore options for advancing our economic ties as well as discuss regional and global issues. Prime Minister Lee and I will also witness the signing of several agreements. Singapore has become the Philippines' top trading partner in ASEAN and the top source of approved investments in 2021. Our economic cooperation with Singapore has grown by leaps and bounds for the past half century and more opportunities are just waiting to be tapped by both sides. My state visits to our ASEAN neighbors will seek to harness the potentials of our vibrant trade and investment relations. As such, an economic briefing, business forums, and meetings have been organized to proactively create and attract more investments and buyers for our exports in order to accelerate the post-pandemic growth of our economy. I expect that we will be coming back with the harvest of business deals to be signed in my state visits that will further strengthen our economic ties with both Indonesia and Singapore. These are all, all these uh, initiatives that we will undertake on these state visits are very much in line with all of the priority areas that we have identified, the agricultural sector, the uh, guarantee of food supply, the guarantee of prices, food prices that are affordable to ordinary Filipinos, the long-term plans that we have for energy, the long-term plans that we have for our emergence into the new global economy. We have a full set of meetings and much work to accomplish during this trip, but it will not be complete without meeting our Kababayans in Indonesia and Singapore. And I look forward to sharing with them our commitment and plans for enhancing the government's efforts to protect the rights and ensure the welfare of our overseas Filipinos. And I convey my appreciation for their support and valuable contributions to our country. And beyond that, we must thank Singapore and uh, Indonesia for the way that they have welcomed and allowed to assimilate our Filipino nationals into their society, into their economy, and into their daily lives. We are always so proud of them, and uh, we are glad to see that our neighbors, where our Filipino nationals work and strive, also appreciate them for what they do. Maraming maraming salamat po. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat.